Hey y'all, this is Lisa from My Bookish Agenda, and today I thought I would do a quick flip through of my Everyday Carry. This is a personal Filofax Holborn, so if you're interested, stick around. Okay, I'm not going to go through the pockets because y'all know pockets, but I will say protect trans kids always, and if that's not something you're into then this channel is probably not for you so let's just you know no hard feelings but there you go okay so first off acetate this is from Lindsay scribbles her patreon um every month she does a new set of designs and this is for march uh this is just a scrapbook paper like scrap paper from a dollar tree notepad that was cute it's got butterflies this is from the Coffee Monsters Co. It's the overview. She sends this out as a freebie in her Facebook group every year, and I just sized it for personal. It's very tiny. It's very tiny for my 45-year-old eyes, but it's cute, so <laughs> there you go. Um, holidays, this is plain with B. And then I went with the colorful one because look at how pretty that is on the back. That's just me and my husband from when we were very young, and I still had nice skin. <laughs> Um, plans. This is the first section. So this is, I labeled it inbox, but really it's just all of my calendars. So this has school schedules. Um, then it goes into the monthly, and this is the freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. If you're in her group, so I have the whole year in here because this honestly, this is where it all happens. If I don't have a monthly, I don't have anything. So everything goes in here dates appointments um upcomings birthdays whatever because this is where i get you know scribbly i can cross off i can make mistakes it doesn't matter because this is just where it all lands because every week i refer to this and i build in my weekly based on this so it doesn't matter if it's ugly i don't care <laughs> so there's those and then that goes into my weekly here's the current week um this listen <laughs> This is very similar. Basically, I love the Peanuts Planner Co. freebie that's in our Facebook group, but I wanted all of them on one side, so I just made my own based on her layout. So shout out to her. Thank you. But I just made my own because I wanted the whole week on one side, and then actually I put in, you know, like to-do notes this week, weather, habit tracker. So it's, it's her design. I just did my own thing with it. But I also wanted to try a Hobonichi layout, so I made this one. That's going to come up in a couple weeks where it's, you know, typical Hobonichi week style on the side, big notes section and a built-in habit tracker. And then it goes from that to schedule because these are my dailies and these are something I made myself as well. I use this little acetate to mark where I'm at. It's a little, um, the Coffee Monsters Co. little emoji that I just cut out and cut this on a little tab um, to kind of mark where I am on the day. So I'll show you a plain one. So on this side, it's all my schedule, just whatever I'm doing that day with a little call out if I have like a delivery or if it's an all day event or a holiday, birthday, whatever, to do's and notes. Down here, I like to keep track of my food, steps, sleep, all of that, whether if I took my vitamins, all of that's in there. And then this side is for any journaling. I've found it very helpful throughout the day to have a time, like a space um, in the morning to just jot down how I'm feeling throughout the day. If I have anything frustrating happen or anything great happen, I just want to notate for later because I do memory keep in another planner. So this is just basically Dear Diary, I guess, journaling. And so I have several of those. Then my work section, this is pretty boring, y'all. I basically just do like, I guess, a bullet journal style. I just week, week number, and then it's just tasks tasks until I'm done and then I have some reference sheets in the back for various things I need for my job home section the home section is really just reference the renovation projects I want to get done this is my no spend tracker this is from peanuts planner co this is her annual bundle like the yearly bundle um, I cross out a day that I don't spend any money and then when I do spend money I actually write down how much I spent um, this is my kids section, so I'm not going to show you that. It's kids, my husband, dog, all of that in there. This is a very funny picture of them that I, that I absolutely love because they were, it was very late. Anyways, um, this is my reading journal section. I actually have an official reading journal from Le Little Inklings Design that I use, but this is where I keep track of it, and then I transfer that information over to the cute one. <laughs> so this is just, so that way I have it with me at all times. Um... 
let's see, this is just an annual tracker that I made. And then this is something I made for, like this is starting tomorrow. So basically this is where I track my reading. I put down my, whatever I want to read that month and I give it a little abbreviation and then I just write the abbreviation on the days that I've read it. Monthly stats, I mean, you know, I just like to see where I'm at. This is a, you know, another monthly calendar. So sometimes if I actually do plan any social media, like any posts or anything like that, I'll put it on the day and then I'll put what it is like IG, TikTok, whatever. And then I'll check it off if I did it. Sometimes I like to plan ahead. Sometimes I try and act like I'm a creator, but really no. <laughs> and then this is just a blank to-do list page. Um, content planner. This is also Peanuts Planner Co. This is a paid um, insert from her shop. I mean, I love it. I've used it before, but again, I don't really plan out a whole lot of content ahead of time. Peanuts Planner Co. Again, this is from her annual, this that bundle that I showed you before with my um, spinning tracker. And I love this because it's a breakdown of each month. And I use this to keep track of book releases, books that I want to read. And then on this side are ARCs, advanced reader copies that I've gotten that I need to read by that month. And so on this side is any like any books that are coming out. And on this side are any arcs that I have. And so it's really nice to just have a place to put them as, as they come in. This is my recommendation. So whenever I get recommendations or I remember, oh my gosh, I still need to read that like Passion by Lisa Valdez. Hello. Um, I will put that all in here. And then I will books, movies, TV, podcast, other. And then I'll check it off. I need to update it because I actually have, I actually have done more than just that one. <laughs> Um, this is my reading tracker. So this, again, all this trans information gets transferred to my actual reading journal, but this is the number and then like number book, title, author, genre, format, start date, start, finish, and then just a generic star rating. And I made these myself. Sorry, I, I should have said that. I made those myself. Not the, not this. This is Peanuts Planet Co., but the rest of these are mine. This is from Little Inklings Design. She put this out as a freebie. Um in a regular size and I just resized it for personal and I've yet to fill it out. Same thing with this. I resized it for personal. This is Little Inklings design, not mine. I just added the washi. I made my own challenge for this summer that's going to come up soon. Um, there's some series that I've really wanted to read that I've missed out on so I made myself one. And then the last section is just lists. Um, just this is like a little blotting paper that I have that I wrote margins on. Online purchases, I just keep a generic track of what I've purchased, if it's shipped, if I get it. Wish list. This bingo card is from Lindsay Scribbles or the Ghosting Pen. That's her shop. Yeah. I've had quite a few little, little markers there. My planner lineup, it's constantly changing, but I like it as a record of what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, including planner projects, just like all the silliness that I do in this hobby that I love. And then the rest of it is just blank sheets. These are also Peanuts Planner Co. These are freebies. Also from our Facebook group, she has a whole set of like the basics where it's like checklists. And then I think there's like grid. I think this is hers because I made my own where the header is a little bit bigger. Um, but this is hers. And then I made these because I wanted two on one day just for various stuff. So yeah. Oh, and then a pen test page because of course you have to have a pen test page. So yeah. There you go. That is my everyday carry. Okay, bye.